78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC Lions Den Boxing Community. And today we have a very special guest, up and coming female boxer, Sharetta Metcalf. How you doing, sister? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Uh, doing real good, real good. You know, it's good to have you on. And I uh, finally get a chance to, uh, you know, interview you and uh, find out what you got planned for your career as a boxer. But first, why don't you tell everybody how you got into boxing? Uh, I started from the underground boxing when I was fighting in the uh, clubs. And it was another way of making some money. So I was just like, hey, I'm going to shoot. I've been fighting. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? From where we run, like, I fight for some money. So I just started doing like that. And I was saying I was pretty good at it. I was just naturally like beating people up. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So you was fighting, you was fighting underground. Yeah, I started in underground boxing. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, wait, I I got paid by Mayweather one time when I was in Miami fighting. They up fighting nights out there. I ended up getting paid by him and getting to shake his hand and meet him and stuff. So it was cool. Oh wow! Okay, so where, where you from? I'm from uh Oak Cliff in Dallas, Texas. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, yeah, a lot of the brothers in the, in the mighty LDBC is our online boxing group. A lot of them uh, is we got real heavy Dallas, Texas presence. You know. Um, oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so they're gonna love to see this. But um, um, uh, so how did you, are you, how did you get connected with uh, Rick Ross? They seen me at uh the weigh in on my last fight in February, and as they seen how I fought and how I had a lot of fan, a big fan base here in Dallas where I'm from. They was like, "Hey man, we really like her." They was people was telling them about me, and they were like, "Hey, we uh, we really need to get you." So. I end up uh, signing with them. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, what weight class are you fighting at right now? Super bantam weight. Okay, super bantam weight. All right, all right. Now, um, what do you think of the current state of female boxing? Um, female boxing getting a lot of attention right now with names like Clarissa Shields uh, um, and, and stuff like that. So, how do you feel about the state of, of uh, female boxing? Hey, I'm loving it. I'm loving to have a black woman as like one of the faces, one of the main faces in the boxing. So it's really like very inspiring. I'm 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 glad that our hard work is like not going unnoticed. So they start to notice that we put in just as much as the men are, and that we making as much sacrifices as they are, if not more. And we you know what I'm saying we still dominating the game. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um let me ask you, uh, did, so did you have, you didn't have any amateur background experience? I had a little, I had probably like 13 fights. I went to nationals one time. I got ranked like number five in the country. And then after that, I just went ahead and went pro because in the amateurs, you're going to spend lots and lots of money. And I'm in the, I was in the stage of my life where I'm just, everything got to make money. <laughs> right, right. I heard that. So, so as of right now in the pros, I'm, I'm, like I'm still learning. I'm learning on the job. Right, right. Okay, okay. So with that being said, um, what do you hope to accomplish with your career? Uh, um, just just say your long term goals uh, in boxing. You know, if you look down the few, the road ten years from now, if you look back at your career. What do you want people to say uh, about Sharetta Metcalf's career? She was undisputed. She was a real. She was a real warrior. Uh, she was a great fighter. Say so she, you know, what I'm saying whenever there was a fight, it was gonna be exciting. And she, she came to accomplish it. She was fighting for her kids. So I want that's, them to know that that's my story behind. It. <laughs> that's what's up. How many kids you got, sir? I have two boys. I have a 15 year old and a 12 year old. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. You okay? You out here grinding, grinding. Yeah. Cause, Cause they were men size now. Yeah, I got right. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what's up. You know what I mean. So, um, uh, who were some of the the fighters you grew up watching? Uh, if you were a fan of boxing growing up, who who were some of your all time favorite fighters? See, when I was young, that's when Mike Tyson was fighting too. Right. So I was like, that was the people I was like him. I was like Lennox Lewis. At that time, it was like more of a heavyweight thing. I ain't watching a lot, but when we watched boxing, it was pretty much the heavyweights. So that's who I was pretty much watching uh, back then when I was a kid. Then, you know what I'm saying, it turned into Mayweather. And so after that, you know, it was just Mayweather down for the last, like, shoot, I think about like 10 years. Right, right. <laughs> no doubt. Um, so 
who are some of your current favorite fighters that you look at today that you inspire you or you admire? Of course, you know, I, I you know say I'm always a fan of Dallas. So the Dallas Pro Boxers like Maurice Hooker and Earl Spence. Of course, you know, you know, saying those are some of my favorite fighters. And you know, I gotta go with my boy to Bud Crawford. That's my boy. He okay. one of my favorite fighters too, yeah. Okay, okay, that's what's up. And you know, I ask everybody this question, you know what I mean? Uh, everybody interview all the uh, the people who mentioned Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. Um, that fight is gonna eventually gonna happen one day. Who you who you who you got the edge to going in that fight? I don't know, it's like a 50 50 fight to me. I'm speaking on as a boxer, right? You know what I'm saying? The person that you know, what I'm saying I've seen both, they both got something to bring to the table that's so good, like it's gonna be an action packed fight, you know what I'm saying? So I just like, you don't know who, <laughs> right? Right, mm -hmm. because both of them got knockout power. Both of them can uh can fight and box, so it's just like dang. <laughs> right, right. And, and and what do you think? Um, what would you want to want people to know? People first time, just first time seeing you. What would you want them to know about you that they don't already know? What well, they don't know that you know, say, well, I want them to know they don't already know. Right. Uh, <laughs> Shoot, I don't know. You know what? The the last my last say year or so fight is being without really being in good shape as a boxer. Like I, I you know, say I feel better. I used to question myself more in the beginning of my career. You know, what I'm saying it used to bring doubt, and that is not good when you're a boxer. So I would say now I'm way more confident than what I used to be. Okay, okay. And how have uh? Uh, have you been staying uh, quarantined with all this pandemic stuff going on? Have you been out the way? Oh, yeah. I haven't been, to, like, going no kickbacks and stuff like that. I might have, like, a friend come by or something like that because, like, it, it, it be kind of crazy not seeing nobody for, for a long right. time. But, like, yeah, when I, when I go out to the stores, I got my mask and everything. I pretty much be with here with the kids. I'm, I don't make me a, a, a in-home gym in my garage. I got a heavy bag and all type of stuff. My kids got basketball goals and games, everything. So they we pretty much just over here chilling. Right, right. Are, are your sons showing any interest in boxing? My youngest one, my oldest one, he's not a fighter. My oldest one, he's he's autistic. Right. So he he not down with the hitting me and he he hitting you and stuff, but my little one he is. Right, right, right. No doubt about it. Yeah. Um so uh when boxing does come back, because right now boxing is on a you know standstill, but when boxing comes back, uh, how soon are you looking to get back into the ring? Man, if they told me boxing was um, we can be able to fight within the next six to eight weeks, I'll take I'll take the fight and get the training right now because I feel like I'll be in enough good shape to, to take a fight. <laughs> I, I still been I still been working out, not like trying to. You know what I'm saying? To get too bad out of shape and and just just be not good. So I still been here working out. So okay. Been... Okay, that's what's up. Well, sister, I'm gonna let you get back to your Clark sisters. You know what I'm saying? You know me, but I want to thank you so much uh, for your time, and we definitely gonna stay in contact with you and watch your career career as you progress, and uh, we'll uh, definitely uh, get a, get in contact with you for your next uh before your next fight. Okay, I will. All right now, sister. You have a good day. Salute to you. Too.